how do you get more cake quickly in power world there's two answers breeding pals that are insanely good at producing the ingredients or just buying them the first is more sustainable but takes time to get good and the second is just expensive so for the buying aspect go to the small settlement very close to the starting area down below king paka and you can buy berry seeds wheat seeds make your own berry and wheat farms and also the wheat eggs and milk you cannot buy the honey which is the only missing ingredient so far and that's made by bee guards now this stuff does get expensive because the amount you're going to need to make a lot of cakes is pretty pretty crazy but you could sell a bunch of nails or you could place a hanging trap and hang upside down the paypal peddler and farm him for gold the other way is making the ingredients yourself and to do it quickly you have to have four star pals that are also the best at what they do as well as all the building structures that increase production speeds the pals required to make cake ingredients are going to be chickpea mazarina and bee guard those can't change at least not at the moment but the rest are just going to be pals that can harvest plant water and breathe fire if the goal is to make as much honey milk and eggs as possible start by getting a garip of chickpeas in the starting area and that is for many reasons, one of which, the, you can't crossbreed chickpeas. It's just not possible. And they're easy to capture given their low level. And what you're looking for here is going to be passives such as Artisan, Work Slave, Serious, and Lucky. These passives increase work speed, and that increases the rate at which chickpeas lay eggs, bees make honey, and cows milk milk. Eventually, you want to have all these passives on one chickpea, if not multiple, and then crossbreed it into a bee guard and also a mazarina. The breeding combinations I recommend are as follows. Chicken plus chicken equals chicken. I suggest again getting a really good chicken like this one. Lucky Artisan Serious Work Slave. And then combine that with one that has nothing for a pretty good chance at passing the traits on more easily. Then we got Reptiro plus chicken equals a mazarina. Moving on. We have a Bushy plus chicken equals a Bee Guard. So already, we've covered all the important bases, but we can go a bit further. This one's a bit more complex. Grizzbolt plus Sweepa, which are both level like below level 20 monsters, equals a Jormantide plus a Chicken equals a Mazarina. I'm lagging. I'm crying in the club. Then we have a Bee Guard plus Tombat equals a Mazarina. And then finally, we have a, a Moza arena once you're happy with the pals you bred go ahead and collect 116 more to condense them down and give them four stars which will increase the amount of product or i guess ingredients they can produce for instance a chickpea at zero stars produces two eggs a chickpea at four stars has a chance to make six eggs when it lays them it can still make two but now you have a chance you could just get i believe it's around 50 something 56 and have it be stuck at three stars and that's fine because i think that they produce a chance at five eggs next thing you can do go to a statue of power and upgrade your work speed i think 10 times to be 30 percent faster and the rest of the stuff is involving your base at levels 23 24 and 25 you'll unlock the water fountain flower bed and silo increasing your watering gathering and planting efficiency for your pals at level 41 though you unlock the lettuce plant nope lies 38 you unlock the lettuce plantation and before that you unlock the tomato plantation at 32. go to the dune shelter or the bottom left of the map whatever that place is called and buy the seeds from the vendors then go to your base and plant a tomato and lettuce plantation just one though of each and now you can make salads and salads give your pals a lot more sanity a lot more nutrition and especially more work speed I think to the tune of 30%. And thank Jesus, you ain't gotta sit there and feed each pal individually. Instead, put the salads you make, if you do make them, in the first slot of the food bowl, and that is the slot your pals eat from first. A smart question to ask is how many four star, full blown work speed passive pals do I need for each of the ingredients? I'd say two to three cows, two to three chickens, and probably maximum two bees. Maybe a bit less of the bees, because you only need two things of honey per cake stack or per cake. Uh, making whatchamacallit the other pals i recommend would be two planters and gatherers and that's normally a package deal then one to two sprinklers the water pals and finally one to two kindling pals and it depends on how powerful they are so i guess the mid game pals would be verdash and valets then eventually you get yourself a patalia and the best 
I guess gathering and planting pal would be a Lilene. Then for the sprinkler, Pen King's the general mid game one. I think the best is going to be Jormantide or flamethrowing or kindling. Ragnarok is great mid game, and the in game one would be a Jormantide Ignis. But there's a problem with these bigger pals, especially the ones that can, I guess, pseudo slide and fly. I did know to play this, but here's my base setups for the farming. We have the ranch of the B guard at my AFK auto mining base and three wheat farms. I suggest four wheat farms for just a better output because the flour you need is a lot, honestly. And you could also build your grain mills here to process the wheat since you have your water people as well. Now at my other base, I guess my automation base, I have two ranches. I don't know if three would be better, but I have two. Just one food bowl, so all the food goes to one place. Two berry farms or berry plantations you might want three and then one lettuce one tomato and that is all i have for that this is a different thing two grain mills one is fine but two just in case actually you probably only need one you probably only need one and for some reason the <laughs> the german tides when they get attack speed or uh, work speed they go <laughs> If you're trying to min-max, you could four-star your pals that aren't making ingredients, and it would increase their work-related buff by one. So Dromatide Ignis would go from four kindling to five, just like the Chicopee went from one leaf gathering and one fence to two leaves and two fences. If you're out of space in your pal box, go ahead and build a viewing cage, and then just slam however many pals you can fit in there that you don't need, and then go ahead and do what you gotta do. In my case, I'm condensing Lilene's. I needed the room. So, we, we made do. And these are all my Lilene's. You need 64 for the last star. It's, it's brutal. And I have other pals I'm trying to condense as well and get more of. So, it's, it's a little rough out here, man. It's a little rough out here. Very important note, do not get rid of males when you're breeding bee guards. Because they have like a freaking 10% chance to spawn. It's something insanely low. If you see a male, if it has bad stats, don't matter, keep it. If it has good stats, especially keep it. So the highest work speed I've seen is 254 with the food buffs. I want to see what this guy can do if I first feed him salad, and then maybe the this stacks as well. Because this says slightly improves, that says significantly improves. So he's currently at 195 work speed. I give him this. He's at 254. And if I give him this, the strange juice. What the fuck? 400%? How do we... That is the most absurd jump I've seen in my entire- like, we went from 30% to 400%. Are we, wait, do we- He dropped back down. How, how'd you lose it? You had one job! How'd you lose the juice? Did you eat something different? What? I'm- I'm- dude, what? That was expensive! The old switcheroo. Now this is definitely unfortunate. So that potion isn't expensive necessarily, but it takes an absolute year and a day to craft. If it lasted, to, I guess it should last maybe 20-ish minutes. If it lasted even five minutes, it would be pretty good. 400% work speed increase. I'm really hoping for the day that we can turn off certain things. No, no, no. Listen. Listen. We have one job. I hope for the day that we can turn off certain tasks we don't want a pal to do. Like, we can really dictate what they do. Look at this progress bar, though. And this Catrice has every work speed buff, <laughs> except for the power altar thing. <laughs> it takes so long. I'm fully aware that Dormantide is the best sprinkler and Dormantide Ignis is the best flamethrower, but they're, I mean, it, it works. It still works. They get stuck, dude. Best case scenario, they get stuck next to their workbenches. So this dude can operate this little uh, contraption, the oven, some might call it. And he can also hit this. I don't know if he can bust out some salads over here. Is it like somehow reaching it? Is there residual is there residual flame? Or maybe it's on simmer, so it's cooking that. 
Anywho, we have both of the Jormantides stuck on this here statue. And they can hit this and that. This is done. It can work out, I guess, where if they get stuck in a place next to their workstation, it's fine. They can't, however, hit this. Instead, I have freaking the budget sprinkler over here. The Alibaba water system. Look at him. He's lost. So the easy fix is just going here and manually, manually changing it. Which, you know, if you're not your base and you're AFK for a bit, it's not possible. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, a like and a comment goes a long way. Have a good day. Peace.